in your hands right now, okay? So what if you do look out for vacant homes and put that in your portfolio? Um, here's some other things I saw. Refis up 104%. Refis up 104%. Well, how does that affect you? Well, like Tony just mentioned, what do we need to do in this marketplace right now so that we can set ourselves up for success going forward, right? Well, the number one thing we need to do is to start calling all of our past clients, our sphere of influence, the people we know, and be a value to them. Because many of these people, many of these clients, if they still have their jobs, they need to refi right now. And you can call them up and say, and you can even do a partnership, listen to this, get in touch with your lender. You're not giving them as many loans as you once was, but neither of a whole bunch of other agents that used to give them loans. So they're shifting to refis right now. What if you be a refi partner with them? Say, look, I'm going to call all my sphere of influence and I'm going to say, look, you need to refi your home. You should look at refining your home. Check it out. See if it's a fit for you. Here, here's my lender. Check and see if they can help you. Now, that doesn't make you any money right now, but it's an offering a value of service. But here's what could happen. They could look into refining, see it's not that much of a deal for them right now, but then think, you know what? Why don't I just buy another one? I want to sell this one and buy another one. Here's another thing. I was talking to a, a top agent out of Kentucky yesterday, and she does about a million dollars in commissions a year, and she, she's been through a number of these markets. She says, Rob, I'm getting calls from my clients saying, I am so sick of this house. I can't stand it. I've been in this house for a week now, and I'm sick of it. As soon as this virus is over, I want to go buy another one. Okay. <laughs> They don't want the bad memories of being stuck in that house. They want to buy another one. So be prepared for that. Also, bringing value to your clients right now. Bring value to the people on social media right now. Open houses. They're, they're, people are canceling public open houses. I get that. Why not do video open houses yes. and post them up via Facebook Live, post them up on the, on the social media channels, do video open houses because a lot of people are sitting at home with nothing to do, and they're bored. So instead of watching cat videos, give, give them an open house to watch, right? Watch I love cat videos. Now, now here, here's the trick. Don't just show them the good parts of the open house. They can get that from, the, uh, from Zilla or MLS or wherever. Show them the, 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 the panel box. Show them the air conditioning unit. Show them the crack in the wall. Show yeah. them the flaws in the house. And if you show them the flaws as well as the good parts, then that's a more comprehensive look and they'll like that. They'll, they'll trust you. They'll want to see more. And uh, that actually that was the techniques that when I was living yeah. and selling, I don't point out the good part. I'm like, holy cow, look at this track right here. Can right, you live right, with right, this? Right. And point out because you look at the buyer, you know, look with the buyers as if you're buying your own house. So don't point out just the good stuff, but point yep. out the stuff and how you feel about it and being authentic about it, which, which is yeah. key, especially building trust. So, so how about selling homes sight unseen? Yeah. I mean, people say, it. oh, no, you can't do that. Tony, have you sold homes where the buyer didn't see the house until they closed? Yeah. yeah. I closed one last week. Uh, the people came from California. You know, yep. I sent them a lot of, of stuff and they said, we want to see this one. I said, okay, let's go. And I walked through, FaceTimed it with them, yep. you know, went all the way through and showed it to them. They said, that's the one we want. We put that offer in, you know, made it subject to a due diligence period and, and, and lengthened it out as far as that seller would allow us to go. And then he flew into town a week later and said, this is the one, let's, let's move with it. So we yeah, closed um, it. Yeah, it was all cash. Yeah. Tony, the, uh, I have one, a closing next week, I guess, the 26th, and uh, I'm representing the seller, but this buyer um, is out of town and had never seen the home. So, you know, they did the same thing. They asked for, you know, 60 day close and extended terms, and we gave it to them because they offered, you know, they paid more for the privilege. But uh, same thing, their, their agent did a complete virtual walkthrough, and that's how they made that decision. That's right. Yeah, you have to you have to be willing to make these kind of shifts. That's right, and be a be a resource for these clients because people still need to buy houses. There are situations like in the military right now; they are they are quarantined on base because they don't want this stuff to get in the bases and interrupt their their ability to serve. But they may be in a situation where they need to move. They're in a process of a transition coming soon, and they've got to 
to, to be prepared when that happens. Well, you're going to have people that need to, to have a home ready to go when they, when this is all over with and they do move. So be prepared in that situation. While we're, while we're on this topic, um, for those of you that aren't familiar, you know, there are like Matterport is one of them that comes to mind. It used to be you needed this $3,500 camera and it took you four or five hours to go in and set it up and, or pay someone, you know, an extra couple hundred dollars to do a 3D a virtual tour of the home. Uh, but those technologies have come down a lot. I mean, there are apps where you can go with your smartphone and you can, you know, basically set up a little thing that spins it around and you can do that in each room and it might take you an hour if you don't want to pay for it or for just a little bit more than normal photos. You can get a full dollhouse 3D rendering where people can virtually walk through your listings or walk through homes. So there's a ton of technology to help right now. You know, the other thing to think about this too is, is when you're working with that out of town buyer or seller, do all you can to help. I mean, I met the painter there. I met the flooring people there. I set up all the arrangements for the estimates. They were still in California looking to move. And uh, I made sure that when I met those people for estimates, Again, I used my uh, iPhone, FaceTime with them, said, here's our painter, here's our floor guy, and uh, they're going to give us good estimates. And then we worked all the way through, and I went back and checked it from time to time. Those guys are going to refer other people to us. Absolutely. And, uh, it's just so important to, to service them any way you can. That's right. So our job is to be relevant in the industry, to give that value. This is what we were built for as real estate agents. And if you think about it, people for years were saying, oh, Zillow is going to take over the market. Redfin, open door, knock, they're going to take over the market. They're going to put us out of business. Well, then this happens. And the word on the street is the iBuyer program is going to be down to two major players when this all shakes out, right? So, 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 Real estate agents are built for this. We can bring that value to the consumer that no one else can. So make that happen. Also, stay in touch with everybody on social media, not just with open houses. Do that. Uh, do, do items of value about, hey, have you thought about refining your house? Do something with your mortgage person and talk to them about that. But stay relevant on social media, giving items of value about the real estate industry, about what they can expect coming out of it. Now, now none of us know what's going to happen when this is done. I mean, it could be weeks, it could be months, we don't know, but we know it's going to be some sort of shift. Now, in my guess here, it's not going to be as deep and painful as, oh wait, because the market conditions weren't there, aren't, aren't here now that were there. We had bad paper, we had bad mortgages, we had bad stuff going on. That's what caused that and why it was so deep. But we're going to have a shift of some kind. And so the, the, the facts are, we're going to have people losing their jobs for a while. Already have. Are already happening, right? And now we have laid yeah. off like 10,000 so people. So we're going to have people coming out of this, even though they might have some uh, some uh, some uh, payment uh, delays or, or, or eviction right. delays, but at some point that's going to shake out and people are not going to be able to stay in their homes. They're going to need to sell it, right? right. Uh, the, they're going to either foreclose or they're going to say, you know what, I just need to sell it to get out from under this big payment so I can restructure my life. That's going to be an opportunity to be able to help those clients to restructure their situation. You know, we're, we bring an item of value to the consumer doing this. Get ahead of it. Tell them up front, look, if you're in this situation, let me help you before it gets too late, right? We can help you if we jump on top of it. Be that item of value. Uh, we're also going to have uh, buyers. Here's what I see in this. If you have a qualified buyer, see, it's been a seller's market for a long time. A long time and they've controlled a lot of this stuff with multiple offers and running up the prices and stuff well going forward i see we're going to have a period of time where buyers are going to be your goal because if you've got a qualified buyer now they can still qualify for a home after this shakes out they're going to be able to get some great deals on homes they're going to be able to, to write the ticket on this so i think we're going to have a little bit of a shift there now at some point that's going to all shake back out again because this is a temporary blip, but we're going to have that period. How can you position yourself well to capture more buyers right now? Why can't you get people set up? For more? Why can't you get your buyers to say, look, I know you want to buy in the future and get, get set up to buy when this is over with. I get it. Let's go ahead and get you fully pre-qualified right now. I'm not talking about 
just a just a little piece of paper saying that you're 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 you might be qualified. I mean, fully underwritten qualified. Right. Hey, so, Rob. Just yeah. just a couple things back to the agents. Yeah. I, I would say you know I've been out on the lake this morning. It's where I get alone, and the lake where I am right now is low. And I have to be real careful about what's in the water, below the water line and what's floating on the water, or I'm going to tear that boat up. The thing is, is we need to pay real close attention to what's going on around us all the time. And I like the idea, you know, be quick, but don't be in a hurry. Right. Be quick, but don't be in a hurry. And then the other thing is, as agents, we need to, to be in a place right now where we learn to live with less. You know, reduce your expenses, reduce your business expenses, make yeah. it a game, reduce your personal expenses, make it a game every month. Hey, where can we do reduce? Where can we make yeah. this thing happen? What's working? Treat it like a business. And then the other thing I think is so important is re return calls super fast. Yes. Return calls to other agents, return calls to your prospects, return calls to your sphere. When people know that you return calls fast, they're going to continue calling you. Absolutely. And I just want to share one thing is like, I am, you know, saddened by all the things happening out there, but I am super duper happy because this is very much due. This is a time for many, many of us are forced to reset, are forced to really dig deeper to see what's important. Like Danny, we're talking about Rob and, and Tony, that we got to really look at our priorities. You know, like our family, we, we were looking out, you know, you know, we're like, okay, what is really important to us? What's really important to us? And just like you can go and have this kind of conversation with yourself, what's really important to you? Sometimes, you know, owning a big home is not all there is to it, only a little home. You can move up, move down, doesn't matter. But but what matters is how do we all have to be in this moment right now? We gotta be extremely present with this moment. Doesn't matter, you live in a big house and small house, be grateful. But what you have to be grateful that we are breathing at all. <laughs> and that's what I try to get to people to understand that like, do not be panic about anything because panic is an energy, it's a negative energy inside of us that do will do nothing yeah. but harm to ourselves and the people around us, the children, our friends, you know. So people say, Well, how, how can you be so positive to doing this time right now? I'm like, I feel the pain when I'm somebody yeah. hit me, but I won't yell at them. I won't scream because I'm able to understand and be present yep. at that moment and that pain, just like Jesus said, yeah. right? Somebody slap you like, oh, give them the yeah. other chick. A lot of the principles that we're going to be learning, I, I haven't read the Bible in a long, long time, but I look back at all the principles, you know, like let tomorrow be, worry about tomorrow, but it doesn't mean that we don't take responsibility today. That's right. To be present with this moment, be, be present. That's yeah. all I'm telling so, all so the agent this, to do. This is going to, yes. to go away at some point. We've got to just be diligent while it's here, but, uh, but just work through it and help people along the way. Bring items of value to your clients. I mean, another thing to do on social media is while you're on social media, giving value and helping your, 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 uh, your sphere, the people you're, you're connected with, also, start plugging in on, 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 your, on your, your, your advertising piece on KV Core. If you're a part of KV Core or Boomtown or Zerpool or whatever, plug some listings in through there to get people something to look at. Because if people are at home and they're, they're searching for something to do, give them something to do. Give them something to look at. Give them something to check out. So, so give them that, those tools or those, uh, those resources to start looking at it. Also, Rob, yeah. One, yeah? Rob, one thing that, about KV Core that just hit me hard this past week, right before everything started up, there's a big sign on one of these big buildings or real estate offices in our town, and they were so excited to have KV Core. They put a, a big thing on the marquee that says, we have KV Core. And then I thought to myself, how are they going to train these people now that they're all at home? Thank goodness I can go to my online training 50 hours a week and KV Core is all through that training system right now. Right. And I've even given them some of those agents the opportunity to come in as guests and uh, take KV Core training and, and they love it. I mean, I, I will let you guys talk more detail. You know, Danny and Rob, all of you talk about detail as to why I am so blessed and, and beyond grateful for the way we set up with, with our partnership with EXP. And I and I let you guys go more detail on that. But OMG, how many times we went out and shared with the other agent? They always say, But I like my office, my office, my office. Well, right now, more I like the office. Okay. 
Let's, let's talk I'm about not, that for I, a second. I cannot help. I, I, <laughs> well, welcome to my office. Right. <laughs> let's, talk about, let's do a shift right quick. Let's talk about that for a second. So a number of years ago, uh, myself and Tony and Denny got involved in EXP Realty for a reason. Because yeah. we saw something coming in the industry. The industry is changing. It's not the old broker way we used to do it. It's not the old office way we used to do it. And things have shifted. And so, Tony, can you talk a little bit about how you're doing real estate in these days versus what you used to do? Well, you know, I've got a client right now that we had to wait for him to be able to qualify to get a mortgage because he went through foreclosure, bankruptcy, short sales, all the things. And, you know, you know where he used to work? He was a blockbuster executive. He was upper management blockbuster and he waited too long to get out. And we were just talking about that the other day, the parallels of where we are in this market right now with Amazon and with Netflix and all those things. I remember Rob called me up one day and he says, man, I got to talk to you. And I said, Rob, I, you know, my son's in Nashville. He's a, he's a musician. I said, Rob, I can't come to Nashville and talk to you. And I knew he had many, many Remax uh, franchise operations up there. I said, I can't come. And he goes, no, man, I'm down here in Georgia. I live on the lake down here. I said, say what so anyway we met at a mcdonald's halfway and i'll tell you my wife and i we went up there and and rob thank you so much because 15 minutes into it i had to rush back and figure out how to make this change right when i i remember the days as a broker when i was trying to figure out every month maybe twice a month having training and bringing people into an area that i rented because we had a large company And I had to come up with all those topics and everything. But as soon as I saw that training, man, they're up to 50 hours a week of optional training right now that you can do everything from where I'm sitting right now at the lake house. But uh, when I saw that, and then I saw the things that, you know, I used to, I used to enjoy company ownership. Okay. Of course I had the overhead I had to meet first, but this gives me company ownership. I said, Rob, you have got to be kidding. This gives me ownership without all the expenses. And then when you think about the revenue would come in. Now, the thing is, is I had to go through all those expenses in order to be able to get to profit. And yeah. the, the crumbs were left over at the end for me to participate in. I remember so, that. But this, this company comes along and they say, off the top, we're going to let you be involved in the revenue that comes in. You know, people say, don't tell me about this because I may like it. Tell me about this because I'm afraid I may like it. I said, man, it's kind of like you know. I invite you to church and you say, I don't want to, I don't want to come to your church because I may like it. <laughs> then I'll be giving up my Sundays, you know, and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, what are you missing? You have to listen to what this is. And Rob, I want to tell you something, buddy. I can't tell you enough how thankful I am you called me. Thank you so much, because this changed our lives. It's changed my my wife's life. My, my daughter and son-in-law, they're icon agents with the EXP. And, and where some people get a plaque every February, you know, for being a top producer, our, our daughter and son-in-law, they're in their early 30s. They get $16,000 worth of stock. <laughs> they meet that goal. And you know what? They still get a plaque. Yeah. Of course, it stays at home and nobody ever sees it. Right. They, they have got enough money already in their shares where it's taking care of weddings for my grandchildren. It's taking care of college. And I'm going to tell you what, you know, I used to, I used to refer agents to my Remax operation. You know, what happened with us is, is, is we merged our Remax operation into another one. Great guys over there. I love them. But to tell you the truth, when I referred them an agent, I got a $5 Starbucks card. Right, pretty much. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Rob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is just incredible. And I just want to tell you, thank you, buddy, for, for introducing us because this changed our lives. It really uh, has. I mean, it's been great to partner with you because in this, in this platform, it's different than any other company out there. And until now, nobody could understand the difference until they dig into it. But I think we're seeing the difference right in our face now. Because look at look at the companies. I'm hearing agents from other companies going, "Our office is closed today. Uh, can't get a hold of my broker. Uh, the accounting staff is not in, so they can't cut our checks. Right? Technology staff is not there, so I can't get something fixed. No more. No training because no training going on because the office is closed. Right? Well, here's another thing on a bigger scale. I pull this up. SoftBank pulls out a pledge to buy $3 billion in shares from WeWorks. 
Bank. SoftBank Vision Fund lost $2.1 billion in the third quarter in profits. They changed their CEO. Guess who SoftBank is backing? Oh, God. Compass. Ah. Oh, Compass. We're going to see a lot of changes. We're going to see a lot of things going on. We're going to see uh, a lot of changes in the REMAX system, in the Keller Williams system, the Coal Banker system, because the market is shifting. Yeah. But in this company, here's what's happened in this company. We never shut down. That's right. We stayed open the entire time. Still open right now. As we speak. Trainings are going on right, right now, now in the world, right? Accounting office is open. They're still cutting checks and direct depositing uh, money. Uh, our, our, our technology department is open. So we've had this set up already for years. Agents have been doing this for years, right? Hey, and Rob. Hey, Rob. What? what <laughs> You know, one of the things I remember, I used to have to drive 25 miles to go in and, and see the broker and, and hopefully spend some time with them, you know. This situation here, I can go into the world. Some people know it is the EXP cloud. I can go in, go to the department because there's, what, 400 people on staff now. I can go into the department, check in. They can pull up my file. They can say, what's the address? What are we talking about here? What's the transaction? They can pull up my file. And I'm in and out of there in three minutes. Still sitting here on the lake, you know? <laughs> With your shorts on. Yeah, we, <laughs> I do. I got my shorts on. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> so the industry has been changing for years. And, and uh, this is only exacerbating it. But it's bringing a point to what to the, the, the we made year, two years ago. Has, uh, has allowed us to set us up for successful faster going forward. Now, here's what we're going to see. We're going to see a lot of agents making some changes. They're going to see the way they were doing business before and whatever company they were in may not be the right fit going forward. It may, but it may not. They're going to say, well, how can, I, how can I work in a different environment? How can I work in a way that could help me maximize my own money? How can I work in a way where I can get ownership in the company? How can I work in a way where I can partner with other agents and get overrides like brokers have done? Well, that's where this company has been really good about helping agents to set themselves up for situations like this. Now, what's going to happen in another few years when something else happens in the real estate industry or to the economy or to the market or whatever? Are you just going to say, well, man, I should have done this or should have done that? Yeah. Time for a shift. I always, I always like to say you can either uh, watch it happen, you can make it happen, or you can wonder what happened. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the let's make it happen business. But I want y'all, and here's, here's what I want your perspective on, because the two of you have, you know, just this vast amount of experience and knowledge. Um, there's three things that we always talk about with EXP that we call really revolutionary. One being, you know, the virtual nature of it to the stock for uh, the agents and then the revenue share. So, you know, we've kind of touched on all of it, but, but as a fairly new agent, um, you know, I swore I would never become an agent because uh, I live and die by the cash flow quadrants. And if y'all haven't read that, Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow quadrants is probably one of the, it's what I call my Bible. Uh, it's my business Bible, not my Bible Bible, yeah. but, uh, you know, it's all about where your money comes from. So if you punch a clock and have a job, you're an employee. If you're a realtor, you're self-employed, but both of those have to go work to make money. If you transition to the right side, you're a business owner. That's what in real estate we call a broker like you guys. And I knew I never wanted to be a broker and I never wanted to be an agent. I didn't want to be an agent because I wanted passive income. I didn't want to sell until I die. You know, agents, retirement parties or funeral. Uh, and I knew to be a broker, I would have to do all this legal compliance, risk, overhead, liability. And that's just not me. Like I would get arrested for not paying attention, not right. intentionally doing something wrong, but for not paying attention. Like I didn't want to be responsible for everybody else, uh, even liability or risk aside. And then obviously, if you make a bunch of money, you invest it, you become an investor. So I never saw myself as an agent until I had lunch with you and you showed me how I could be a, you know, not be a broker, but the leverage, other people's time, the technology, the processes, the systems of EXP to create a leveraged passive income so that I didn't have to sell till I die and so that I could help other people. So for me, like that's what got me to go get my license. But I look at now, now being in the middle of this, I look at those three things and I go, wow, you know, 10 years, over 10 years ago, Glenn had this vision to create a virtual brokerage. And today, 
all of the guidance, all the support, all the accountability, all the accounting, all the technology, all the training, everything we need is literally right here in a computer and we don't have to go anywhere. So like, I think more than ever, people will, even the people that resisted are now being forced into it. Like my kindergartners doing school yes. in my kitchen. Like I don't, I don't want to homeschool kids, but right. I now know what that's like. Right. So people are getting a taste of it. And let me ask you this. If people are forced over the next one, two, three months to figure out how to work from their computer. And then they're given the option to get dressed up, sit in traffic, drive across town and go to the broker's office. Are they going to want to? So like <laughs> one, there's the efficiency Two, there's the cost. Like if you're paying $300 a month for an office, you can't go to right now. Like, no. So, so I want y'all to tackle that. Uh, and then the second is like from a, you know, investor equity stock ownership, like most of the times you sell a house, you get a paycheck. This concept of building up equity in a stock account, like a 401k or an IRA, like the whole market is down 30, 40% right now. It could be down 50 or 60. Like I'm going to take a hundred percent of my liquid capital and buy EXPI. Like yeah. it's, it's a buy. Like we just went from zero agents to 27,000. We're going from 27,000 to 200,000. We're in, you know, the top three revenue agents, sides, volume, all that stuff. Uh, you know, we've been investing a lot in infrastructure and that's going to change as the infrastructure is built. Then the margin accelerates. There's more net profit for the company. Our stock goes, from, it's already gone from one to around 10. It's up and down. It's probably seven now, which is a great opportunity, by the way. But um, that's going to be a, a, a retirement play for our agents. And then last but not least, what I love about the revenue share personally was like, I get to, uh, I developed a multiple six figure uh, residual income by the age of 30 and then went and had a bunch of babies. But like, I want to teach agents, like how do you get paid not just for what you do, but for what other people do and how, how great, uh, Tony, I don't know about you. I know Robin Kim's background with EXP a little bit uh, more diligent, but how many states are y'all in? Just how many I'm, states are y'all in? They're in, they're in dozens. I'm in six. Okay. All right, so how cool is it to know that the virus is hitting different cities and different real estate markets at different rates, that you're diversified. It's not just you. That's it's right. this team everywhere, even Canada, Australia, and the UK, soon to be France, Germany, and Mexico, like to have a worldwide network of agents selling real estate so that you're diversified in terms of events like this. Like, I know that I just went on a rant, but like, I just think all three of those things, we are, we are getting a light shined on how awesome all of that is. Jenny, let me, let me just, just tackle a couple of things here right, right quick. You know, the thing is, is that let's talk about mastermind groups, first of all. You yeah. know, in a mastermind group, you go to a local hotel, there's a, there's a circle of 10 chairs around there. And you as an agent, especially if you're saying your first five, six years and you're a medium producer, you got to wait on somebody to die or pull away from that table for an empty chair. And then you have to be invited to that chair. The other thing that happens in a mastermind group at the hotel is they're not really going to uh, give all their secrets because they're competition. They're right. competition within their own company. Okay. And the thing is, is that EXP, what I found out it was, I could go into the EXP world, so I know it is the cloud, and honestly go into a room and the collaboration that happens. The, the reason that, that people share so much is because all ships are going to rise together. We own this company together and everyone wants others to succeed. So we get to share the information. We get to share the tools. We get to share the things that, that really make our lives worthwhile. I want to tell you the other thing is, and Rob, I don't know if you agree with this. I have grandchildren. Okay. My, my, my adult grand uh, children are grown. I have grandchildren I'm taking care of now. I want to tell you something. I wish I had had this early on. I really do. Um, I wish I'd had this. I probably wouldn't have been a qualifying broker, okay? I would have stayed an agent and because of all the opportunities that are here. That's the reason I'm so excited for those that are, say, below 40. The future is incredible in this company for what's coming up. The kind of growth that we're having, the way the trajectory is happening, the stock ownership. Man, what can you say about that? I just buy, it's given to me, and I leave it alone. 
because I know that it's going to be dollar cost averaging, and yeah. we're, we're going to see that happen. And then the other thing you, you touched on the revenue share. Some people say, well, I don't want to talk about revenue share. Every business owner everywhere deals with revenue. If they don't deal with revenue, they're out of business. Right. The thing is, is if you don't have a share of the revenue, you don't have anything in that business whatsoever. So Tony, here's this a company said, hey, we're going to let you be a part of that revenue. And that's so Tony, cool because you, it's know drive, you know what drives me crazy about agents who like, you know, they, they just want to sell. They, they don't want to talk about revenue share. They don't want to talk about recruiting. They don't want to talk about team building that. Listen, if I got something good, I'm telling everybody anyway, like I recently stumbled on this new technology with a doctor that, you know, if you're an aging athlete like me and you have bad joints then you know, they can shock it and it creates all these stem cells. I don't get paid. I've told everybody that I possibly know because it's like made me feel better. Like, Hey, you should go see this guy. It'll make you feel better. Like when you discover something great, you have to share it with people. And I kind of view it like gravity. You can deny that gravity exists, but if you step off of this deck, yeah, <laughs> you're going to fall. Well, you can deny that you need to pay your bills when you're 70, but you will one day become 70. And if unless you just want to keep selling houses, you better do something now that's that right. puts you in a position later to not have to sell houses. Yeah. So well, that's yeah. part of the reason we did the fast track for our retirement by joining EXP. You really yeah. have. Yeah. So, so, a- agents are going to need to know that things are going to change. It's how you position yourself in the marketplace. Right. No matter what company you're with, you have to change the way you position yourself in the marketplace. It's just that we are able to do it in a, in a unique way with the XP, yeah. pretty much allowing every single real estate agent to act like a broker, over like a broker, and leverage like a broker without having to be one, without the building overhead. Get the stock ownership piece and get the cap back with uh, and be virtually 100% for the top producers, the icon agents. So, so, so in the industry today, creating those unique skills, just like we talked about today, to be something different, to, 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 to learn something different. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something unique here. Uh, anybody who's on this call that's not a EXP agent, if you want to come into our world and go to some of the trainings for the next two weeks, we can get you a free guest pass to come in and they're doing some unique trainings this week on how you can ramp up your business in yeah. this marketplace. They've shifted their trainings this week and they're amazing. So, so get back with the person that invited you onto this call, uh, onto this yeah. video webinar, and we will get you that guest pass to, to go in and view the trainings and take a tour of the world. As a matter of fact, since we don't have uh, uh, the soccer games and basketball and all this stuff going on right now, they're actually in the world. They're, well, they're, on the pitch. they're creating their own soccer game, right? They're doing a soccer game. I can't remember when it is, tomorrow, the next day, or whenever, but they're soon doing a soccer game. It's going to be Kentucky versus Alabama. <laughs> and they're doing a virtual soccer game, and they're going to invite other people to come watch. And they're actually doing voting pool, I mean, uh, um, brackets. They're doing brackets on this soccer game, right? In the world, we're doing a virtual soccer game. So it's not all work, it's fun too, but we have the technology already built to do that. And think about it. Here's what's also exploding. We have a tie-in with uh, with our mortgage company that uh, you can own, you can own a part of the mortgage company. They're doing skyrocketing businesses with refinancing right now and you can get overrides off of that. Also Verbella, the technology that is creating our virtual office is open to other companies. Guess what's happening to Verbella right now? A lot of businesses are now contacting Verbella and saying, I need a virtual workspace. I need a virtual environment for my company. We're not talking about real estate only. We're talking about other types of companies and businesses and organizations and schools and government agencies that need virtual workspaces and Verbella has it. Well, guess who owns Verbella? The XP. The XP does, right? So that's going into our stock. So all this has created an environment for us to thrive in the future, not just in the real estate world, but also in, in like Tony said, other ways to create uh, uh, value and income in this marketplace. So guys, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate you. Hope we brought some value to you. And if you have any questions, get back with one of us. We all share. We're all business partners in this. Because the more that you guys do, the more we all grow the company. So get back with us. We'll be happy to sit down and do a, a private talk and, and see, hey, here's your situation. Here's what you can focus on and you can explode your business. So I want to thank everybody for coming on this, uh, this webinar. 
and uh, and we will we will hopefully we'll see you on the virtual uh, shareholders meeting because we had to cancel our shareholders meeting in Florida with uh, with the uh, virus going on, but. We're already set up for virtual right. training and virtual seminars. We're going to have it virtually in the world, right? Good, good to hear from everybody. Thank yeah, you thank so you, much. Tony. Thanks, yeah. Robert, Jim. Next Thursday, we will try to do sooner. I don't know. We will talk with Danny and Tony and a few yeah. other leaders. But we're going to do this again for sure, 11 o'clock next yeah. Thursday. Next Thursday, you know, because we want to bring the value. We want you to, want you to be mentor and to kind of hear our story, where we came from and what we're doing right now. So if you don't know, you know how to get in touch with us. But that's what Tony and Danny, I mean Danny and mindset, if you need any question, Danny and Tony are like and our team are so blessed to have amazing leaders like them. So I just want to say thank you, Tony, so much and thank you, Danny, for your leadership. And well, we if, you're if you're in Atlanta, it's a beautiful day outside. So y'all get outside. That's right. Yes, yes. Thanks yes. a lot, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.